What is happening? Welcome to my amazing news show. I'm your host, Scotty Day. This is where I find articles, write it on paper, lose the tablet, forget about it, type it on my computer, lose the file, and finally get the video done for you. We are talking about stagecoach rules today from the Old West. It's going to be amazing. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a wave, and we'll be right back after the break. Hey, a bodacious beast, out in the old west, stage travel took patience and stamina. Long wagon rides, long distances, they seemed to take forever. Many stage lines published a set of rules for passengers meant to make an unpleasant experience at least tolerable. This list suggests some rules that might make travel a little more civil. But as I read these, let's see if any of these could actually apply in today's standards out on our public transportation systems. So number one. Abstinence from liquor is requested, but if you must drink, share the bottle. To do otherwise makes you appear selfish and unneighborly. Wow, this is this is how the classroom rule is that if you don't have enough bubble gum to share with the class, don't bring it at all. Or maybe the song Ninety Nine Bottles of Beer Take one down and pass it around, that that kind of makes sense. If ladies are present, gentlemen are urged to forego smoking cigars and pipes as odor of the same is repugnant to the gentle sex. Chewing tobacco is per permitted, but spit with the wind, not against it. Why wait? Can't this wool wait? What? Can't this rule be applied to the to those that enjoy the green stuff today? You know the the wacky weed. Uh, you know what? I'm, you know what I'm talking about. I imagine someone spitting against the wind on a speeding coach on a speeding stagecoach. That'd be a, quite a messy situation. Gentlemen must refrain from use of rough language. In the presence of ladies and children, in today's world, this type of mannerism does not exist. Rough language, or what is commonly known today as swearing, is extremely common in today's society. Thanks to social media, thanks to being a renegade, thanks to music, thanks to television, thanks to, you know, there's a lot of things that, you know, Swearing it became a part of today's society. Buffalo robes are provided for your comfort during cold weather. Hogging the robes will not be tolerated, and the offender will be made to ride with the driver or on top. Back then, a leather robe provided much needed protection from inclement weather. Bed hogs need not apply. But wait! They said, well, could they just throw on a police bathrobe? If you went back there in, into the Old West and said, you know, why don't we replace these buffalo robes with fleece? And they'll sit there and look at you and they'll laugh at you. But well, what about vinyl? And they'll look at you and they'll laugh at you. The stuff didn't exist back then. And buffalo robes provided a lot of warmth. Don't snore loudly while sleeping, or use your fellow passenger's shoulder for a pillow. He or she may not understand, and the friction and friction or fighting may result. In other words, if you snore, you be you could be sleeping in the middle of nowhere. That's right, folks. You could be sleeping in the middle of nowhere if you snore louder than a ox. So just kind of keep it down, or just don't sleep at all. Number six, firearms may be kept on your person for use in emergencies. 
Do not fire them for pleasure or shoot at wild animals, as the sound riles the horses. You may be walking in the middle of nowhere, yet again. Well said, young chap. In the event of runaway horses, remain calm, and also leaping from the stage in panic will leave you injured at the mercy of elephants, elements, not elephants, elements. Hostile Indians, hungry coyotes. Oh my God, no wonder Wiley Coyote is still alive. He chases that uncatchable roadrunner, but he feasts on daredevil stagecoach riders. They panic whenever the stagecoach takes off and they jump out. Number eight, forbidden topics of discussion are stagecoach robberies, Indian uprisings. Ah, screw the First Amendment. This makes the driver nervous. Now, this kind of makes a good point when you're at a bank, you don't talk about a bank robbery. When you're in different sensitive areas, you don't talk about sensitive subjects. Sounds reasonable. Gents guilty of most unchivalrous behavior towards lady passengers will be put off the stage. It is a long walk back. A word to the wise is sufficient. Dropped off in the middle of nowhere where the squirrels play banjos and coyotes chase them road, road runners, you're going to be in trouble. Number 10. Don't imagine for a moment you are going on a picnic. Expect annoyance, discomfort, and some hardships. If you are disappointed, thank heavens. Yep. Shocks of memory foam has not been invented to you yet. Get used to it. And horse and horsehair furniture is really hard on the butt. So there you got it, folks. The ten rules of riding a stagecoach in the old west. Now if, if you think and ponder about what I just spoke about, what rules do we have back at the, during the stagecoach are very similar in today's society on public transportation and a taxi cab on an airplane, on a on a uh, on a Greyhound bus, even on a train, how many of these rules most people are still following today? I'm not talking about the rebellious people. I'm talking about you know the traveling public. Let me know in the comment section below. Give give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Slam that like button. Share this with your friends. Also, subscribe to my second channel for weekly vlog updates. That will be happening very, very soon. Well, good boy, this is Beast. I'm off to the gym. I'm not getting any younger sitting down. You got to keep on surfing.